hello everyone welcome to my kitchen once again on today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make cabbage corn beef roll we have so many recipes for rolls we have a sausage roll but today i'm going to be combining corn beef and uh, uh, cabbage so these are the ingredients for this recipe we have our oil we have uh, the corn beef here i'm using two uh, tins of corn beef then we have uh, the spices we have rosemary we have uh, curry powder we have uh, garlic powder salt and the uh, uh, seasoning then we have our cabbage here and the uh, white onion so right now we are going to start by sauteing the um we're going to start by sauteing the onions, frying the corned beef. Then after, we add the the cabbage. So it's almost like a, when you're doing your your meat pie. You first of all, prepare your filling. So that is what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to. Start by frying our onions. Have a pan here, add an oil. As you know, corned beef has a little oil of its own, so we have to be careful how much we are adding. Allow the oil to heat. Then we go ahead to chop our onions. And as soon as the filling is ready, I'm going to, to start uh, with uh, preparing our dough so that when it's rested, we we'll go on from there. So this is going to be a rich, satisfying snacks, it's delicious and balanced. It's something that you will not be shy to present to your visitors or in your parties, Christmas, Thanksgiving. It's just a perfect snack. Onions is chopped. I'm going to add it. I will add it let it fry. Then I'll continue with cutting the cabbage because as soon as it is softens I'm going to add uh, the corned beef then the cabbage by using half of this Chopping it a little bigger because it's going to wet. Then so because we're going to cook it just a little, it's going to still bake. So we don't want to cook it, overcook it.
Now I'm going to add the, the corned beef. Adding all the two. And you remember when seasoning the corned beef, remember it has a salt. So you don't over uh, salt the, the filling. recipe I hope you like it so this is the cabbage that we have we add and we watch it so now the candy is inside we need to mix everything up so now we are adding the uh, the flour that I mixed up the water. I'm gonna keep it uh, moist. I'm going to wait and do it with the only side. Fill it. So I've added it. Then we mix everything together. Then we add our pound, uh, our cabbage. So good, properly seasoned. We're going to have the delicious corn uh, beef cabbage roll. Allow it to cook at least, the flour to cook at least for a minute before adding the cabbage. Last time I did it, um, I wetted the cabbage with hot water. But today, I want to add it raw so that by the time it bakes, we have uh, we still have the cabbage inside. It will not disappear. So now, time to add our cabbage. Add it little by little, but it's not wasted. So I'll be able to stir it. It was easier if it is, it is easier if it is wasted. It's not water. Because when it bakes, it's almost uh, disappears from the, the, the meat. So I want to see more of it. So now we add another one. that the corn beef is much more bigger than the cabbage. So now another one goes in. If you have enough. As soon as it's ready, I'm going to start fry it with a plate. And allow it to cool down. Then we go over to our dough. By the time our dough is rested, the filling will be cold. Because if you add the hot filling to the dough, 
going to perforate it. And that's why I allow it to get cold. Allow this to cook and also that it will be able to be folded in the flour in the um, in your dough. So look at the beautiful uh, filling that we have here. It is ready now. It is done. It's going to cook more in the oven. So now I'm going to transfer it in a plate and let it cool. Then we get on with uh, the dough. So I'm turning the dough. Look at our beautiful filling. You have to let it cool down. So this is what we have for the filling. I'm going to let it cool down. Then I'm going ahead to prepare the dough. So these are what we need for a beautiful rich dough. I have um, 8 cups of all-purpose flour and uh, half a teaspoon of uh, salt and uh, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder. I'm going to be using four sticks of uh, margarine, three eggs, three eggs, we have the water here, and uh, right now we are going to start by uh, adding the margarine. So we're adding four sticks for a stock of flour. Mm. When we are done, we're going to start mixing it up. Work it gently until everything is properly mixed up. What we want here is properly mixed up. So 
so now it's time to add the egg I'm going to use four eggs So you have to be careful with the amount of um, wet ingredients you are adding. As you can see, the 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 egg has almost done the job. I'm going to just add a, a small quantity of water. wet enough and then a little water just a small quantity just a little forming nicely. it in the fridge and let it rest properly that's a beautiful dough so down the dough has rested enough we are going to sprinkle some flour and start kneading the dough flattening it.
Careful not to overwork the dough, or it will become hard and uh, too rubber. So this is how I do it in my meat pie. That's a beautiful dough. You don't want it too thick and too thin. Enough to hold the to be able to be. So we have, for the second batch, we have um, a beautiful smooth uh, dough. So now it's time to add the, the filling. I'm going to start here. So this is the last one. I'm going to fold the last sheet. Mommy, look, a flower donut. Thank but you. But 
but it's sugary. The name that dinner my teacher gave me. Oh, that's odd. Okay, that what's in it? Yeah. Mm. And it's made of. It has. I think that's flour. Turn the end off. I think that's flour. To make a clean cut. So yeah, here no. we have a. Uh, Why does it look like this? The it's first not batch. To look like this. We have our egg wash. It looks like smooth pudding. It looks like smooth pudding. So now, Ew, it's so bad. this is our egg wash. I better go put some more. I hope Brush I it with the egg. Actually, I don't want to make a donut. I want to make something that we eat. It's like poo poo. Nah, I don't want to poo poo. It doesn't look nice. Well, if there's supposed to be fufu, but it looks like gam It's African cereal. Mm -hmm. it's that looks gar like fufu. It's called gari. African it's cereal. It's called gari. Yeah, it's African cereal. Okay. African cereal. Do and you, you like can it? make it into fufu. You can turn it I ate it. it. Do you really like it? Yeah. You like, you like to soak it and, and drink it like a cereal? What? That's what. I like to make mine cool. I know. Can I have some egg now? But let me finish, okay? You have some. Really? Egg. You have some remaining. You have a lot. I don't have flour. I don't have egg. I'm giving you. I'll give you egg. But you said I have egg and I don't. I think you said that. I don't know. You said I have egg. Egg wash here that I will give you. Oh. Yeah. I thought you said you. Well, I'm going I already to have. I already have it. Mm, okay. You didn't hear me very well then. Mm. So look at the egg. This looks really good. I'm brushing it with egg. It looks so egg soggy. Wash. When it comes out, I have it it's going it's to be golden leg. brown. So I'm double brushing it. I've done the first one. I'm what doing it once that? again. Ooh, give me one of this thing. You see this? The oil. Thank you for the egg, but I don't need it. Okay. Yeah. So no, that's my lunch. It's ready. Because it's food. And the oven is ready. I'm going to put it in the oven. Ew. And allow it until it is properly baked so and golden brown. Not too brown to avoid getting it. I'm eating a lot. I'm eating 10. Let's give it like 45 I don't know. minutes. I don't need some of it. The second one goes in. So I'm getting the first batch out. It's already done. So you can look at it. Beautiful. This is our cabbage bro. The second batch is still inside. Is a perfect snack. Perfect snack for your picnic for any occasion. You need to get them out. It's very, very hot. I love the color. It is exactly what I want. So I'm getting them out.
our perfect oh, can you look at it oh my god this is our cabbage roll corn beef cabbage roll so pretty i love it it's balanced it's nutritious it's rich i hope you like it subscribe share this video comment see you in my next video god bless you all bye